Your last name is? Green. And this is your daughter? Yes. Ms. Huntsman, according to what I read, the only way you know the defendant, Ms. Brown, that would be you, right, is through a cousin of yours? Now, she's my little brother's girlfriend. Your brother's is or was your brother's girlfriend? I haven't talked to my brother much since the situation. Are you still together with her brother? Um, we actually talk here and there. We're not, like, together, together. We're, like, friends. You keep so. in touch? Yes. And on the night of, or the day of April 10th, it is your claim that Miss Green and her daughter came to your house uninvited. You had no idea why. Both of them vandalized your car. Both of them took turns trying to pickaxe your screen door, caused damage to six windows, caused you to lose work because you're an Uber driver, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you want you, the relief that you are requesting is about $5,000. Yes. Miss Green and Miss Brown present a totally different picture. They say on the 10th of August, Miss Brown was in your house, house where you live, where your brother is, and they were having an argument. Yes. She's never been inside my house. Shh, shh, She was in your house where you live with your brother, or your brother was there, and they were having an argument. And Miss Green says, because she signed the answer, that you came in the midst of that argument on April 10th and sucker punched her daughter to the extent that she had serious injury and did, in fact, take her, did in fact take her to the hospital that day, filed a police report, and they're counterclaiming. They're counterclaiming for that assault and the fact that you filed a protective order against them, but you never showed up for it. They went and you never showed up. And they are counterclaiming for the same, about $5,000. So it's gonna be up to me to make a judgment as to these two stories. They're totally inconsistent. You do understand that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. I have witnesses. Uh, I, I never don't. touched her. I listen to me. Don't say anything just yet, right? Now, Ms. Huntsman, just so that I understand, you've never met Ms. Green. Yeah, I never met her mother. You never met her mother. And you only know Ms. Brown because she was dating your little brother. Yes. And you met her how many times? Once. And in the one time that you met her, you had absolutely no falling out with her. There was no discussions. There were no arguments. No, I met her briefly at a camping trip. Told her she had a pretty name. So neither one of these two people had any grudge against you. No. You didn't have to have any grudge against her. Prior to April 10th. No, I don't even know her. Right. So I'm going to ask a few questions. Ms. Green, have you been psychiatrically hospitalized in any way in the last six months? No. What about you, Ms. Brown? No. Do either one of you take any psychotropic medication? No. no. Okay. So that you're not crazies and you weren't on some bender on April 10th? No. <laughs> and you say... You never went back to her house. Now, this is what I want you to be careful with. What your answer says is that Miss Huntsman on April 10th got in the middle of an argument with your daughter and her boyfriend, and Miss Huntsman sucker punched your daughter and she was injured. You have photographs, I'm sure you have hospital records of that injury, yes. okay? I have to tell you that I'm not a vigilante. You know, I believe in law and order and stuff. But if somebody did that to my daughter, I would be very, very angry. I might be angry enough to go to their house and to take a sledgehammer to their car. I might be angry enough, just listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I might be angry enough to break in a window. I might be angry enough to destroy a screen door. Do you understand? I might be angry enough because somebody hurt my child to do all of those things. That's a pretty serious motive, right? I just want you to think about that before you say to me, I wasn't there. Do you understand? It's all about the story, what makes sense and what doesn't. 